Dad, you put my truck in the toilet. No, calm down, son. As the beam of light clearly indicates, Jesus wants it there. And you mangled my teddy bear again. He was my only friend. Well, then I guess it's time to make an imaginary one, isn't it? Dad. Here, take one of mine, kiddo. I don't want one of yours. Every time they talk to you, we spend the entire day in this porta potty. Oh, you can't think of it as a porta potty. Think of it as our very own rocket ship. You have to be creative or the voices will never, ever stop. I don't want to play pretend. It smells like mint gum and pee in here. I don't like it. Well, just be grateful. Why, why when, when I was a boy, the rocket ships didn't smell like mint gum at all. And did they have all these balloons? What? All these used balloons. Never mind the balloons. You get like this every time you make a sale. It makes me sad. Well, Daddy can only afford the magic smart dust when he's selling buildings. When nobody buys Daddy's buildings, Daddy can only afford the stuff that makes Daddy stupid because it's been stomped on by the magician. You don't want that to happen again, do you? No. Good. Now, chin up, slugger. Why, I just met a nice taxidermist who can probably fix Robert Redford. It's Ronald Reagan. That's what I said, wasn't it? No. Well, never mind. Just finish your chicken and waffles so you can help Daddy push this gamma ray against the back wall. The ducks will never find it here. Ha ha! That's a viewfinder. Nonsense! This thing could have been the destruction of all humanity. Now clean your blade and help me hide this from the waterfowl.